our YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, do well to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment, and share. Today, we are looking at 2025 Nepal Physics Practical. And we are looking at the aspect of maintenance. Let's look at the question on the board. This is the question that we are going to use to illustrate the experiment that we are going to do today. We are going to use this diagram to perform our experiment. Now let's follow the instruction on the board and let's perform the experiment together. So you are provided with a uniform missile rule. This is our missile rule that we are provided. A knife edge. This is my knife edge. Uh, I'm using my clamp to hold my knife edge. And that is because I'll need to hang my masses on my metal rod and I don't want it to be touching the table. And that is why I use my clamp to hold my knife edge. Let's continue. Read and record the point throughout the experiment. Number two, using the tray provided, suspend the object label and has the 20 cm mark of the metal rule. So this is my aim. According to the experiment and the instruction given to us, our aim is 100 gram. So I put my 50-50 mass, I, I, I take them together. This is my aim. So I'm going to place it at 20 cm mark of the metal rule. But before I continue, I must also get the center of gravity of my ruler. I must get the center of gravity of my ruler, which I'm going to determine soon. Now, the next instruction is you should suspend a mass M 70 gram until the metal rule balances horizontally again. So, I'm going to suspend my 70 gram mass at the, at the other side of the metal rule. So, we should read and record the position of Y of the mass M on the metal rule. So after I have suspended my 70 gram on the other side of the metal rule, I'm going to look at the point at which my 70 gram is going to balance at the other side of the metal rule. And that's where I will read as my Y, which I'm going to record on my table. So let's start the experiment now. Let's get our G. I want to get my center of gravity, which is G. And that is the point at which my meter will balances horizontally by itself. I'm trying to get that. So this is my center of gravity, G, is the point at which my meter will balances horizontally. And if you look at it, it has what? 50. My G is what? 50. My center of gravity of this right is what? 50. So let me record this on my board. My G is equal to 50 cm. 50 cm. Let's continue. The next thing is that I should take my end, which is 100 gram, at mark 20. So let me come at, let me come, come to mark 20. So this is my 20. I want to tape it because I must make my my N constant throughout the experiment. So I'm trying to tape it so that it will be constant throughout the experiment. It's constant throughout the experiment. The next instruction is that I should add 70 gram mass at the other side. So here, this is my 17 gram mass. 17 gram mass. I'm going to add it at this other side and look at where it will balance horizontally. Where it balance horizontally is going to be my Y. So let me hang it. So let's and this is my my ruler must be as my G. I like 50. So I want to look at where it will balance. Now, if you look at it very well, this meter has balanced horizontally. So here yeah, I have 94, 4.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8.
So my reading is 94.8. Our Y, our Y, which is where my Celtic ground mass balances horizontally, is 94.8 centimeter. So the next thing they ask me to do is I should determine and record the distance L between the mass the, between the mass and G. So my head is what? The distance between my mass where it's balanced at Y and what? And G. And knowing that my G is 50. So my L, my L will now be 94.8 minus 50. And if we do our subtraction, my answer will be uh, that will be 44.8 centimeter. So I can come and record here my mass is 70, my y is 94.8, my hair is 44.8. So I'm going to get my L inverse data. So the next thing is that also determine and record the distance D between W and G. So this is my, sorry, I made a mistake here. It's between N, it's not W, sorry, N and G. This is my N and G, this is D. My G here is 50. So I'm going to find this one. So this one, since this place is 20 and this place is what? It's 50. So my D will be what? My D will be 30. So my D here is constant. That will be 50 minus 20 and that will be 30 centimeters. And I didn't even create table for that. I don't need to create table for that because my D is going to be constant because my n is fixed at 20 cm max. So my d is what is 30. All right, the next thing we should repeat the procedure for the four other values. So I'm going to plot another mass here because this is already 40. This mass of 20, let me plot it here so it will be 90. Then I will adjust until it balances horizontally again. See that. It's not bal balanced again, so I have to adjust until it balances again. You see, it has balanced. We already have our balance, uh, our balance position again. So let's look at where it's balanced. This is, uh, if you look at it very well, I think I still need to adjust it too. All right, so I have. 85.3 so that's 85.3 let's measure for our 90 yeah so my y is 85.3 so to get my l my l my l is 85.3 minus 50 that will be 35.3. So this is 35.3. Now let's continue. We just need that of 90. Let's move to one thing. These are under 20 grammars. Let me slot it in. And we are going to look at where the other is going to balance horizontally again. So you see that we need to balance again and get the point at which it will balance horizontally again. I need to adjust a little more. I think I'm good to go. <laughs> Alright, you see that it has balanced horizontally again. Let's take our reading. This is 78.5. 78.5. So I have for my one thing 78.5. So Get yes to get my hair. My hair is 
78.5 minus 50 that will be 28.5 so that will be 28.5 so let's go to that of 130 this is the mass of 20 gram let me slot it in so I have to balance again let's look as we need to balance again it's too much no, no, it's not up to that. I need to adjust the key. <laughs> Alright, let me just adjust. Alright, you see, it has balanced again. This is not a magic, this is physics for you. So, this is 74.1. 74.1. 0.1 So let's take our measurement 130 74.1 So to get my L my L 74.1 minus 50 that will be 24.1 So I have 24.1 Let's go to the last value which is 150 for 150, let me slot in my 20 gram mass again. So let's see where it will balance. I will adjust again. See, I still need to adjust. See, I just need to adjust a little more. Yeah, it has balanced again. And now we are at 71. Yeah, so this is 71. 71. 150 150 this is 71.00 this also I want to make it in two decimal places so that I'll maintain consistency note that your consistency your value really matters in pieces you have to be consistent yeah, so my hair is 71.00 minus 50. So that will give me what? 21.00. 21.00. Then we make this one so two decimal places. Two decimal places. This has, this has been us to the end of the experiment. What I need to do is get my N inverse. Then, okay, let me try and get our N inverse also. Alright, so let's get our L inverse. Our L inverse is 1 over the value of L. That is L inverse. That is 1 over 44.8. I have 0 0.023. Let's make it for this math basis. The next one is 1 over 35.3. I got 0 0.2. 0. Point, sorry. 0 0.283 The next one, 1 over 28.5 This is 0 0.0350 The next one, 1 over 24.10 So I got 0 0.0414 And the last one, 1 divided by 21 I get 0 0.0476. Alright, so this is my end inverse, and this has brought us to the end of the experiment. The nice thing for us is for us to plot our graph, we are going to plot our graph of m against n inverse. We already have our m, plus our m on the vertical and our L on the 
end inverse on the horizontal. And after you have gotten your slope, use your slope to evaluate x over d. This has brought us to the end of this experiment. So this experiment is just uh, a sample of what may likely come out in your exam. So the clue for you to do an exam is that look at the diagram. The diagram is the major thing you have to look at. Look at the diagram they give to you in your exam and follow the instruction they give to you in your examination based on the diagram that they give to you in your examination. I wish you best of luck in your examination. The nice thing that we have to do in this experiment is to plot our graph. But we cannot do that for today. But I have a video that I want to do basically to teach students how to plot graph. And this cuts across your mathematics graph, your physics graph. Some of you don't know how to plot graph very well. So I'm going to majorly do a video on how you can plot graph for any uh, calculation um, work that they give to you. Maybe in mathematics, in physics. I want to major a video and dedicate it on how to plot graph. So do well to subscribe and turn your notification bell so you can get access to our other video and particularly the video I'm going to do on how to plot graph as a science student. Thank you.